The sport on this occasion is cricket, and it attracted a good crowd at the Grant Adams Memorial School. Dubbed the St. Joseph T20 Blast, the 10-team competition was organized by Sergeant Rudolph Clark, former Barbados cricketer Antonio Mears, Jamal Noel, and Damien Ford of the National Peace Program. Director of Sports at the National Sports Council, Neil Murrell, believes that the program will not only promote peace, but will assist individuals to develop to their fullest potential. I know of late, coming out of the Gratley Adams Memorial School and coming out of this part of the world, has been the Millard Batsman, Kevin Wickham. And we want for you during this tournament to produce more Kevin Wickhams. So therefore, the older persons who are being part and parcel of watching and playing the cricket, I want you also not only to promote peace, but also to promote those youngsters, have an encouraging word, word to those youngsters who are up and coming, to help them to reach the pinnacle of cricket. He told those gathered that they too have a responsibility to assist in encouraging the youth, which will help promote peace. It is a view shared by Assistant Director of the National Peace Program, Damien Ford. Essentially what we are doing as a unit or as a program um, is to utilize uh, sports as a vehicle to ensure that young persons like yourselves who are present here tonight do not, you know, you know the, it says that the, 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 the devil find work for idle hands. So, you know, when, when we have programs like these um, and initiatives like these, you know, persons are involved, you don't have time to find yourself involved in any issues. Um, we're not only utilizing cricket as a vehicle, but um, we're also utilizing other sports. Ryan Braffert represented MP for St. Joseph and Attorney General Dale Marshall, who was engaged in the budget debate. He thanked A.G. Marshall and the National Peace Program for the assistance in organizing the competition. I can't recall ever in St. Joseph having a bounty of $10,000 for a cash prize. You know, and that speaks to the commitment of the program and also to the MP in ensuring that the young people of St. Joseph, both young and not so young, that everyone has the same opportunities. He's encouraging discipline and order throughout the tournament. The first match involved the St. Joseph Adrian Connell Sunrisers versus the St. Joseph Kolkata Masters, led by former Barbados and West Indies batsman Dale Richards, who hit 86 to lead the Masters to victory. Games will be played at Lamings and St. Elizabeth. Andrew Lowe, CBC News.